Hi, and welcome to lesson 8 on teleportation. Teleportation is one of the most wonderful and most fundamental protocols in quantum information processing. It is extensively used in quantum computation and quantum communication. So, let's learn about it. Step 1. Introduction. How do we transmit information in a, in a quantum network? So, before we answer that, let's see what happens classically. In lesson one, we saw the example of a Great Wall of China, where uh, if a guard tower was under attack, they lit a fire to alarm the other guard towers and ask for help. So how that message really traveled, it was carried by the photons, which originated from the fire and reached the other guard towers where they were picked up by the other guards and then they were able to act. In modern times, for example, we want to download some data or we want to communicate over the classical internet. So that is uh, the message is a bit string. And again, it is carried by photons in optical fibers. So in classical networks, always if we want to uh, transmit some message, we have to transmit the physical system itself that is encoding the message. However, in quantum physics, it's a little bit different. What we can do, we can also transmit the message without uh, transmitting the physical system. Consider a network, a quantum network like this. And let's say that we want to use the old-fashioned way of transmitting the message with the physical system that is encoding it. So in this network, the circles represent our nodes and these lines represent the links between the nodes. So if we have a sender, for example, this blue node here, that is in possession of some pure state psi, given by alpha 0 plus beta 1. And the sender wants to send this state to its target, uh, given by this orange uh, network node. So, the sender can decide, or the network can decide, to send it first to this network node, then to this network node, and then finally to reach the target. But what happens if one of the links, one of the quantum channels, is not working? It's down. Well, in this particular case, it's not a big problem because the message can be simply rerouted to go around the damaged link and still reach the target. But what happens if another link is down? Well, in this case, it seems like we cannot transmit the message to the target unless we use teleportation. So, we can teleport this state from the center to the target, provided that some initial conditions are met. So, we can move the information itself without moving the actual physical system. That physical system remains stationary. And this is the outline of the protocol. We will consider our sender and call her Alice. And she wants to send this quantum state, Psi, to her friend Bob. What they do is they start by sharing an entangled pair of qubits. Then what Alice does is a two-qubit measurement on both of her qubits. What that does is it provides her with two classical bits. Because the measurement is on two qubits, it means there are four possible outcomes. She then communicates this uh, outcome by a classical channel. And she can do it because the outcome is represented by two classical bits. Bob then, then receives this classical message, applies some local corrections, and he ends up with the desired state plus.